you doing, Duff, here? I um, got out of work a little bit early to meet someone for some home maintenance estimates. And uh, days are getting slightly longer, so I figured I might as well take advantage of some of the time and get over here to the school and just ride around. Just, uh, just me, the wheel, and uh, the camera. See what happens. Got some uh, unsettled weather rolling through. I'm not sure how much you'll be able to hear, but it's very windy. A lot of gusty wind. It's supposed to rain today. It actually didn't rain. At least not yet. The sun's actually out right now. Um, but they were calling for rain. It looked very rainy. But uh, we may escape with no rain, even though we actually need it right now. So I'm trying to think on the electric unicycle front what's uh, even exciting. Uh, thus far, my plan to um, sell my MCM4 and use those funds to help fund a um, 84 volt ACM have not worked out very well. I posted the uh, MCM4 for sale on the electric unicycle forum and on my local Facebook county uh, yard sale page and have thus far received zero inquiries. So that's a bummer. And I just had my uh, I sent my stuff for my taxes to my accountant and just got the, uh, the word a couple days ago that I'm getting a, a half decent refund, which you know I could use to buy the 84 volt ACM without selling the MCM4. But unfortunately, I'm going to be responsible. Man, well, hope you can hear me because I can hardly hear myself because of the wind. I've got to be responsible and use that money to replace the. Uh, water cleaning equipment at the house. I live where we have a well. The water equipment that I have has been starting to slowly go bad and I've decided to bite the bullet and buy a whole house reverse osmosis system. Which literally gives you like bottled water if not better than bottled water quality through um, everywhere in the whole house. So even my toilet will have um, crystal clear water in it. So. I guess that's exciting. All right. Less wind in my ears if I go this direction. Man, the other way was crazy. So anyways, yeah, I was meeting a, a guy from the uh, water equipment place to get an estimate for the RO. And um, it'll actually cost more than what my tax refund is, but um, I'm looking at it as a long-term investment in the house. I'm not gonna be moving anytime soon, as far as I know, so it uh, should be a good thing. As I expected, I got a lot of uh, feedback on my uh, my ride to the alligators last weekend, I guess it was. A lot of people uh, were taken aback by it that I was that close to the alligators. And uh, even though I, I did have some sort of sense that they would be docile, I had no guarantee. So I definitely had moments during that that I was uh, worried as well. birds as they fly by me getting blown sideways as they're trying to fly forward. This, this headwind is crazy, man. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, I'm now riding in an outdoor handball court. I don't think he gets much use as a handball court. But the uh, school does have one. You guys won't realize this, but in the middle of shooting my... Um, my ride video, I also shot a video regarding uh, lower body stretching and uh, how it's helped me with some IT band problems that I've had over the years. In the last couple years I've had a lot of IT band pain and it really affects my running. When it flares up, I, I, I literally just can't do any running at all. I've had pain since uh, December. 
Actually, right on Christmas Day, I hurt myself. And um, I've just been doing the stretching, and it's finally to the point where I think I might be able to try a short run this weekend. And uh, it's just stretching. That's, that's the way that I addressed it. I had a similar chronic problem with um, forearm tendonitis as well. And that was for like two years. That, that was when I was doing tons and tons of calisthenics, specifically work on the bar, lots and lots of pull-ups, things that, that involved a lot of gripping. And I had terrible, terrible uh, chronic tendonitis where I would, I tried everything, you know, ice, heat, um, infrared uh, treatment, just rest. I would just like rest it forever. And it, it kept coming back. And the way that I finally got it under control was through stretching. I just do like a little, uh, maybe four minute stretching routine every day at the gym when I'm on a, cal uh, on a, uh, a uh, cardio machine. I do like a little warm up and I do this forearm stretching during that warm up. And it's kept the pain away ever since. It's been two or three years and I really haven't had a serious flare up of the tendonitis ever since then. So. It was, uh, it was kind of an eye-opener for me and, and really uh, made me realize how important it is, especially as you get older, to do that kind of stretching to try to stave off uh, the aches and pains of growing old. And actually, the, the video that I did uh, about forearm stretching on YouTube, I think it's it might be the second... Something like something fell off there. It might be the, I think it is the second highest viewed video on my channel. And if you look at the comments of it, um, I just searched like tendonitis on my channel. You'll see it. But if you search the comments, there's literally like dozens upon dozens. Oh, this wind. There's like dozens upon dozens of people that have said, hey, this is amazing. I've tried so much stuff. I've had this pain forever. And this stretching's fixed it. And you know they, they look at me like I'm some sort of medical genius, and far from it. It just this is just something that's worked for me that I shared. So it's it's really really gratifying to see something so simple and uh, zero cost be able to help people that have had um, tendonitis issues for all kinds of problems. So kind of cool. Now riding through the waterways development. Oh, so I talked to uh, Cindy and Katie about doing a ride, a wheel ride, at a place called Shark Valley. It's like in the middle of the state off Alligator Alley. It's supposed to be like an awesome bike path, seven miles, so it would be like a 14 mile round, uh, round trip in and back. And uh, hope to do that sooner rather than later. Sounds like it's a really, really cool place to see. The only problem is it's probably like an hour drive at least from my place, so. That's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but hopefully it's worth it. It's starting to actually look uh, stormy again, so I'm going to head back. I'm so sick of getting random phone calls on my cell phone, which of course I never answer. But it's, it's like nothing but scammers. It's so ridiculous. Did you hear about the latest scam? They, these freaking idiots, they're, they're calling people and saying stuff like, can you hear me? Or oh, they're, trying, they're trying to ask like something that's an innocent sounding question just so they get the person on the other line to say yes. And then they record that yes. They, they have a recorder going. And they use that, they splice it together and they use it uh, against you to say that you agreed to buy some sort of services or product and they, they, uh, they will send you a bill for it. And evidently this is like widespread, it's happening all the time. So basically, if you don't know a number that's calling you, uh, do not answer it. And if you do, uh, do not say yes. If someone opens a conversation with something that will, would require a yes, no response, just hang up. It's just, it's ridiculous. Something, suck, something sucking blood out of my arm. So, there you go. 
not a very long ride. I could have I could have done with another hour or more, really. Some days you just feel like, you know, just riding. Unfortunately, Katie usually gets home later than me, so she hasn't been quite the consistent riding buddy that I hoped she would be, but that's all right. I get the brain dump more when I'm by myself anyway, so. So that's it. Hope you uh, had a fun ride along, and until uh, next time, Duff Me Now. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe, please. Thank you.